active Deputy Gillespie's death stretches beyond the Cobb County Sheriff's Office, and that's where we find our Don Roy joining us now live. Don. Well, Jennifer, the vehicles of both of the fallen deputies line the outside of the Cobb County Sheriff's Office with the community leaving those mementos of their appreciation. The procession is also where hundreds of people came out to say their final goodbye. It's, it's somber. I mean, this is this really hits home. Tears filled the eyes and hearts of this crowd as they lined the street to honor a fallen hero. We've unfortunately been to too many of these. Um, when an officer dies in the line of duty, well, it's, it's just a sad thing. Daryl Streakfurx knows all too well the dangers of working in law enforcement. He retired from Cobb County after serving 34 years. A policeman is a policeman till the day they die. And so we wanted to show this family the support they need and let them know that they're not forgotten. I'd rather see the deputies here. Paul Mitchell worked as a former captain with the Fulton County Sheriff's Office. When something like this happens, there's not a Fulton County cop, County Bartow. It's just one. We're all law enforcement, and we got each other's back. He wants Deputy Koleski's family to know he'll always remember him and his service. Just all the prayers in the world to him. Uh, if there's anything we can do, we we got to do it for him because uh, they lost everything. Mitchell's wife worked with Deputy Koleski and says that he was known for treating people with respect and having a great passion for his job. All right, Don, thank you 